Today I'm going to be doing the manual transmission fluid on this uh, 2003 Honda Civic. So come along and I'll show you how I do it. And you might hear the cooler running because it's, uh, it's like 104 out today so it's pretty hot. I'm going to have to run it. Alright, from the top of the vehicle, if you look, you can barely see right where the tip of my finger is. That's the fill bolt. We're going to have to pull that out. That's where you actually check your fluid. So we'll go underneath the vehicle. As you can see, I already have the vehicle lifted up. I have it on four jack stands so that the vehicle's level. That's important for this procedure. It's got to be level for that fluid check to be proper. And if you're going to jack the vehicle up, which you'll need to for this procedure, just come from the bottom of the car here. Look for this arrow pointing to this hole right here. This bracket is where you're going to lift the front of the vehicle up. And then you put the jack stands like I have them right there. And Hondas, if you didn't know, they have these little brackets right here. And that's where you're going to put your uh, jack stand. right, Just like that, right on these brackets. And in the rear, they're the same way. They got the same bracket right here. And you just put your jack stand right there. Alright, and to lift the back of the vehicle, you can see I have the jack right here. You're just going to lift it up on that point right there. And then, if you notice, I usually take these rubber pads off when I'm lip lifting from this point right here because that will just jack this thing up in no time no pun intended what I noticed about this little Harbor Freight light it's got these little detents right here where you can actually sit the light and then it won't move just kind of nice so that way you can twist the light where you want it and then it, it won't rock back and forth that's a really nice feature I didn't notice that when I first did this review on this Alright, coming from the front tire, we'll just swing around, and then here's your transmission. There's your drain bolt, that just takes a standard uh, 3 8 inch ratchet end. And then up there, that's going to be our fill bolt right there. We're going to take that off first, because if we can't get that off, we don't want to drain it first. So, we'll pop that one off, and sometimes these suckers can be tight. Alright, you can use a standard uh, 17 millimeter wrench like that but like I said sometimes these are on there tight yeah this one's on there pretty tight so I'm not gonna use that I'm gonna use the big boy I'm gonna use this big old thing and put it on there if I can get it on there alright finally alright I'm gonna put that on there I'm going to try to break it free. There we go. Once you break it free, then it's going to be loose. Then we can just spin it off. Actually, and before I take it all the way off, I'm going to put a pan under here just in case it drips a little bit. And you can see there's a washer there too. So we'll just take the bolt in the washer out and that's a good sign we got it out and it's it's good looks pretty good it's right at the top where it's supposed to be but now we'll go ahead and pop this out and drain it all right same thing we're going to use the long wrench to break this loose and it wasn't too bad You can see there's a washer on there too. So we'll spin it out and let it drain. You can see there's not a lot of fluid in there, less than two quarts. Now we'll just let that drain for a bit. Alright, what's nice about these uh, 
the uh, drain plug is it takes the same exact washer as you use for uh, for your engine oil so it's right here there's the part number if we can get it if not I'll list it in the uh, description so that's the part number right there so we'll just while it's draining take it off take our new one and like I always tell you there's a rounded edge right there then there's a flat edge we're gonna keep that flat edge out like that now it's ready to go back on all right now for the fill plug these also as you saw have a washer too but in general I don't worry about replacing these because they're not sealing anything as far as having fluid up against it because they're above the fluid level line so this is not imperative that you have to replace it and you can see this thing looks pristine this was not crushed in there so luckily the last person that tightened this tightened it to the specs and they didn't crush it in there so I usually will just keep it in the same orientation and we'll put it right back on just like that all right we'll just make sure this is all wiped off we'll get our drain plug back in we'll just snug it up and then we'll torque it to 29 foot pounds come on all right, 29. And 29.3. All right, here's what we're going to fill it with. The uh, Honda Genuine Manual Transmission Fluid. You're going to need a couple bottles of this. I recommend going with the Honda stuff and not aftermarket. All right, I'm going to use my favorite Plus pump. We're going to use this 55-001 to uh, fill this thing back up. All right, I'm just going to put this in there. Tighten it up, and we'll just go underneath the vehicle and pump this fluid right in. All right, we're just going to put the tube in there and just pump it in. We'll just pump it in until it starts coming out. I think this, if I remember, it takes 1.6 quarts roughly. All right, there's the first quart. Now we'll just grab the second one. All right, now we'll just go with the second quart. Probably take about half of this or so. And when it starts drooling out, then we'll know we're done. That's why it's imperative to have this on a level surface. That's why I jacked all four corners of this car up. And there we go. That's when you know it's full. When it starts coming out like that, it's right to the top. You can see we used eh, about 1.6 or so, maybe slightly more. And if you saw, I just kept pumping and then as soon as it starts bleeding back out, which it did, then you know it's full. It's right to the bottom of that uh, fill bolt right there. That's all we got to do. That's why it's imperative we want this on a level surface so we know our level's correct. So now we just need to clean this up and put the fill bolt back in. All right, we'll just clean this up. Put our fill bolt back in. We'll snug it up. And we'll we'll torque that down to 20 no 33 foot pounds this one's 29 this one's 33 all right we'll just make sure we clean up everything best we can And we'll get our drain pan out, and we're good to go. 
and you can see that's how much I used one plus this much so the specs say about 1.6 and that's pretty close to what I used um, the discrepancy is probably you know I kept pumping and that stuff ended up in my drain pan all right now we'll just lower it back down make sure our jacks in place you're gonna need a jack that goes pretty high to, to jack the back of All right, make sure nothing's in the way. We'll slowly lower it down. And then we'll put our pad back in there. Because that little tow hook ruins these things fast. All right, now look at the front of the vehicle. Make sure your emergency brake is on. You don't want the car rolling. I'll tell you what, if you're in need of a jack, this uh, Daytona 3-ton from Harbor Freight, that's a really good jack. All right, uh, people are gonna ask, so I'll go ahead and tell you. The Honda recommends this be changed at around 120,000 miles, or six years, I think it's six years. Um, I'm gonna tell you that I like to do it around 60,000, so the choice is yours how often you wanna do it. Um, you're not gonna hurt anything by doing it sooner than what Honda recommends. And as you saw, this uh, you know, pump from Plus, this thing really helps out. If you've watched my videos, you've seen me use this pump before on other things. I really like this thing. I have lots of them. They work really well. And hey, as always, if the video helped you out or you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.